Yeah, that's right. You try and rush out of here, man. You try and make it to the end. Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to the next episode of Wargame European Escalation. Let me give you a rundown on what is going to be going on for this mission to kind of keep the story moving along. So, the Polish Uprising has basically been taken care of for the most part, but the Czech Uprising and NATO is, you can see, down there in the south. We've got a Soviet army that has been completely surrounded by U.S., Czech, and French forces, and so it's going to be our mission to try and get there and rescue them. What's unique about this mission is it's not really so much destroy the enemy as it is get as many of your forces as possible to the north end of the map. Uh, very unique because the way that these missions work is with every single loss that I end up taking, uh, it carries over to future missions. So as many of my guys that I can get up to uh, the north of the map, the better. Now there's really two, you can see over here we've got Boris and there's another one kind of on the the right side now this is where enemy forces come in from so if i can go ahead and cut them off here i should actually get free reign to the objective which is ivan all the way at the top of the map and my 24 is coming in just going to try and span this as much as possible let's give these guys a recon force and then oh yes yeah, so we've got nicholas over here on the right let's give them recon and then what do I got as far as choppers oh, my 24 P's perfect there's four what can I get here I'm just gonna be able to afford one okay Ooh, recon choppers coming in we're gonna move the ZSU into the trees the ZSUs, I should say. T-62s over here. We're going to move them up. Same thing with the anti-tank. We're actually going to move them into the town because that's where we're going to, they're going to be able to do the most amount of good. And once those choppers kind of get in range, the ZSUs should open up. Uh, we're almost set on the left side. Guys on the right are kind of moving into position. Once they get near Constantine, we'll go ahead and we'll move them north to Nicholas. I can afford one more. Come on. Almost there. There's different points on the map, too, that I can get to increase my command units uh, or command points, which will be helpful because uh, that will be what allows me to, to just get more units on the map to move them north. Okay, so we're, where we're supposed to be going on the defensive, we're actually going on the offensive here, which is, if you guys saw the latest military research video, is exactly what the Soviets would have done. We're trying to go on the offense here as much as possible, even if defensive strategy was what was needed for a situation. Oh, Bradley's up there in infantry. Let's kind of circumvent him here. We're gonna move clockwise from the south. Ha, ah, nice. There he is, just out there in the open. Using up a lot of rockets for this guy. There we go. Okay, oh, there's another one there. All right, we'll move up there. Now that these guys are here, we've got a rush because again, every single uh, like second that we end up wasting, there's a stronger chance that we've got more enemy forces coming in. And I'm not gonna micromanage these guys too much because I'm gonna have other things that I have to worry about here. Oh, what's that? Oh, recon. Yeah, take him out. And up there, we've got the, the command vehicle. Oh, beautiful. Got him with a, a a missile there. Okay, perfect. Okay, these guys are trying to take out my ZSUs, but honestly, uh, it's going to take them a while considering they're going to be constantly repaired since they're within the zone of the forward operating base. Now, since we've cut off any way for these guys to get any reinforcements, it's just about cleaning house now. Oh, I love that. MI-24 is doing their job. Oh, BTR coming in. Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on, a couple T-55s. Get this MI-2 out of here. Why was... Ah, oh, dang it. I lost him. Seriously, why was he... I mean, for me, that's just frustrating that he wasn't up in the air. My command vehicle's taking some shots, but getting into some cover. We lost that fob, but... Those guys are peeling off. 
Ha, <laughs> T-34 is annihilating him. What do we got going up here at the town? In Leonid's sector. OT-64 is the T-62 is taking care of him. That those two BTR-70s are just running. And then here comes my choppers right behind everybody. I'm just going to lay waste to a lot of them. Now, I, I ended up losing my command unit here in center. But now that I've got that Bradley cleared, let's go ahead and take out that set of four. Okay. These guys, we might have to move them up to this fob to get resupplied. There's a couple T-34s. The T-62 should have no problem with them. One of the nice things about what we're seeing with the Mi-24s is they're actually hitting these Bradleys in the back here where they have the least amount of armor. Now they're down to just two of them. We've got one T-55 in there. There's also some recon vehicles, riflemen moving through. They're going to make a push here, but the hope is we've got enough here with the Mi-24s. Kind of put a halt to everything. Yeah, now they're getting repaired too. Hopefully this T-55 can... Ah, it's going to have to reset. Come on, guys. Let's go. Uh, let's get some more T-62s in here. Those guys will be the, the last line before they get into Elena sector. Over here, uh, let's get these guys to that fob. Oh, come on, T-55s. Now, they do have to stop to get their most accurate aim. They don't have uh, the best shots while on the move. Okay, these guys, we might be able to get them to this forward operating base to start reloading. Yeah, the scimitar is going down. There we go. Well, that's not bad. We stopped this attack, too. We've got some guys that are over here. Those have got anything left here. Those BTR 70s are probably the Czech Uprising, which you can see over on the right. We're going up against the Czech Uprising, US Special Forces, and French Forces here, too. Oh, man. Bradley breaking through. Rifleman getting their hits on the last T 55 that I had there. Those T 55s out in the open. Come on, T 62s. There we go. They got their hits. Okay, BTR has been heavily hit. These riflemen out in the open, not in any kind of cover, are just going to get mowed down by, you know, by 24s. And T-55s can take some hits too. Okay, now that I basically cleared it out, rather than occupying the set of trees back here, we're going to move up and occupy that area. Okay, Leonid's secure. We'll we'll throw some extra t uh, T62s their way, and then we'll also get some some infantry in here too, just to kind of help out inside and around the town. So we'll kind of pop them there again. Remember, our objective is to get as many of our guys as possible to Ivan up at the north. Now that we've got most of this cleared out. We're going to have to just go through the area and see what's left. Again, we're still going to set up some defenses around here. What I'm going to do is, now that things are quieter, I feel a lot more comfortable about sending some command UAZs to uh, the areas on the map where I can get some additional command points. Let's go ahead and send this. Uh, we'll send a couple of them up there, or four of them, actually. They might be able to give them a ride. Oh, on up to Ivan. Once I can get Fedor to the north, now that I've got center. Come on, get in a good position. Yeah, I think I've got everything now except Fedor up there. I'm going to start placing some recon choppers around here too, because again, there's possibly some enemy in the area. And we'll, we'll just scatter these guys around just to see if they can spot anything. I would have had more if it wasn't for like two episodes ago. Or actually last episode where I lost like, gosh, what was it guys? Like six of those recon choppers? I don't think it was necessarily that much, but lost far more than than I would care to have lost. Those fobs. 
especially the one over there on the left is just about out of supplies. Oh, here we go. Checks have got some forces coming in. So the guys up in the city are taking some shots kind of at long range and the T-62s are basically taking care of stuff here at the short range. There they go getting the hit. I'll have to get some girls up there. Gosh, more. Once they go into those woods like right now, we're, we're not going to, to see them here until the very last second, which is great. We've got this infantry in here because the infantry will be able to set up a pretty decent defense. There goes the SPW-60 is kind of going to take care of the survivors up north. Uh, move this recon chopper maybe a little bit closer. The change in elevation between the town and the set of trees off to the right is what's going to make it difficult for me to spot them. I'd have to go ahead and move my MI-2 up the hill, but I feel like I'd get really, really close to where that infantry is and I wouldn't be able to escape. Okay, well, hey, let's start getting a T-62 up there. Let's set two of them. We'll get a, as many of these guys as possible to just kind of move in a convoy. If there is anybody along the way, they will be able to take them out. Come on, T-62s. Okay, we got to the survivors. There we go. We're going to load them in here, and then we'll just move on to Ivan. Piece of cake. Gosh, that sucks. Can't, they can't hit them. Um, I could try and move these T-62s right here, the four of them. Oh, I forgot to pop them out here. Let's kind of move them out there in the open. It'll be 30 on 30, but then we can go ahead and move around some of our... Ah, dang it. I lost another one. Man. Okay. Let's get those guys up there. All right. Get some more infantry in here. These guys are cheap, easy, and will definitely be be needed for the next mission. So our convoy of T-62s have basically gotten to the objective without taking any fire, so that's why I feel a lot more comfortable about just sending anything and everything up that way. This is basically going to be the name of the game here for the next little bit. So for me at least, we've got a lot that I'm going to be doing here. Now again, you know, we saw that infantry just a little bit ago and that infantry was going to cause us some problems just kind of getting up close. Question is what else could be around here? That's something we're going to have to, again, wait and see. The way that I am prioritizing everything that I'm kind of setting up there is I'm starting off with infantry and armor first. I'm kind of getting more defensive stuff out of the way and also things that might be a little bit slower. So that's why I'm not sending the helicopters necessarily uh, quite up there yet. Come on, T-62s, open up. There we go. That's what I was waiting for earlier. Sucks I had to lose an MI-2 to to get that but again I'm, I'm prioritizing defensive stuff and in, in the air units I can just chuck up there whenever I want basically you can see just how quickly I'm getting command points now it's it's pretty nice we're gonna throw another UAZ up there it'll be helpful to have some some ground units for the next mission and at the same time they'll they'll see anything that might be coming this way once everybody does get up to the north here in Ivan, they are no longer usable. You can see they change color to that orange one, which kind of represents they're friendly, but uh, not not my groups. And see, here they go, just going down the road in a massive convoy. So again, like we were hearing at the beginning, it's all about trying to push through to the Soviet uh, forces that are surrounded, and we are definitely doing that. And there's no opposition really here to us. And we've got an undisturbed 
just convoy of, of stuff moving up. I guess another thing I should mention is I am going for cheap stuff first rather than the more expensive things. Because if I ever get caught in a bind, sometimes quantity matters more than quality. Again, if I'm going with Soviet strategy too, that's definitely important. Let's move these Urals down to the FOB to get resupply and then we can move them back up there if we absolutely need it. So at the very, very end here, I mean, we're talking like two minutes left to go or something. Anybody who's on the map is just automatically getting rushed up there. So we'll, we'll see what I end up leaving behind. I know this is probably not the most action-packed episode, and I was tempted whether or not to even post this because it just absolutely dominated. But um, what I'm going to do here is just skip things forward. What you're seeing right now, we are at the uh, almost 34 minute mark. We've got a lot of forces kind of up there at the top. Getting pretty close here. Since I do have a time limit, you can see I've got six minutes left to go here before the mission ends. So I'm trying to be very selective in what I choose to kind of move up there. Uh, again, want to get infantry. So that's why I'm kind of going with this here. And I'm literally just waiting for some of these forces here. We'll kind of send some, some T-55s up. I can't remember if I send some T-80s up or anything too. But we'll get some supply vehicles. Because I figure we're going to need that too. Um, infantry I'm almost done with. Oh yeah, I can't forget. We're going to need some... Strellas, ZSUs, we can go ahead and complete that. And we're definitely going to need artillery. What would a mission be without artillery? Correct answer, boring. Okay, these are 25 apiece. 30, 55. No, I didn't put any T-80s into the field, I don't think yet. Again, quantity. I mean, in a lot of instances, I do feel like it is beneficial to have a T-80. But when I can get three T-62s for one T-80, a lot of cases, that's what I'm going to want more than anything else. All right. Selecting all these guys. Get the BTR. I'm kind of going now, since I have been able for quite a while, to just select whatever I want. I'm kind of now going and, and rotating through things. I don't know if that kind of comes out here. So now I can get Estrella. Now I'm going to switch to something else. This time going with infantry. Boom. Okay, how's this convoy looking now that I'm, well, I'm zoomed out? I guess I didn't get a chance to see. But no, that is a lot of forces in here. And to be honest, you guys can't see absolutely everything that is up here either. You can see some guys like disappearing and everything. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go. We'll get most everybody. One of the, the side objectives is to get 70% of your forces and or maybe it's 75% or something like that. I think we're going to hit that number. Uh, I've sent some helicopters up there. You can kind of see they're, uh, they're just hanging out up there. That should be nice to get all the infantry. Let's get another Strella. Okay. Artie. Let's get, let's get some more tanks here in just a second. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need a command vehicle. I'll, I'll get one more just in case. Like, I try and rush my guys up here, which is going to happen here pretty soon. If I don't get anybody, I want to make sure I've got something here at least. Okay. This might be it. 
Okay. Support. One. Support. Finish off the arty. Finish up Estrella. Okay, let's get everybody. All right. I lost some precious time. I am like 15 seconds behind. Come on. Get everybody up here. All these guys move up here. Now, I did go ahead and take everybody out of that town, too. Okay. Here we go. Let's get the last whatever I can here before I end up moving that guy up. You know, let's go. Because I really question whether or not if I even put anybody in, if they'd be able to make it up there in a minute. Okay. Oh, that UAZ. Now in Elena, he's not going to make it. One minute to go. Well, this UAZ, we got to get him up here too. Dang, there's so many guys up there. Nobody else? Nobody else? Perfect. I'll have a command vehicle make it through from up there. Got the Urals coming up. Gosh, I wonder how is it he's going to go out if he doesn't make it there in 33 seconds? Because there's nobody around here to, to take him out. You should be able to make it too. Oh, he's going to pass the Strella. The Strella's not going to make it either. Nor is the self propelled artillery. 15 seconds left to go, and a long way to go. Yeah, that's right. You try and rush out of here, man. You try and make it to the end. Two, one, done. Cool. Not bad. Yeah, evacuate more than 75% of the survivors. We did that. Gosh, it'd be nice if those guys count. Okay. Nice. Okay, Soviets were able to hold off here, so we are going to come to the rescue and see if we can defend them. So that's what's going to be in the next mission, actually the last mission for this particular Soviet campaign. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe for more of this type of content because there is, of course, more of this to come later on. Make sure that you guys join the Discord if you want to join in on a number of our conversations. And also, if you can, donate to the Patreon to help support this channel. Please do. Your financial support goes a long way. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. War as hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.